In this lesson, we'll begin working on the part of the animation where the villain gets struck and starts to fall. So at this point is where the villain will be struck. And it's going to happen a few frames after. It's going to be pretty fast. I'd also like to point out a very interesting area, and that is around the shoulders. So you can see eventually we will get a little bit of collapsing. It's not bad at all. We could always tweak this with a morph target. But I'll go ahead and show you a little bit later how we can add more twist control to our shoulders if we would like to preserve the volume. I find that to be really neat and something that animators should know in case they need to go in and, and kind of uh, tweak the rig to get a bit more from it. I'm going to go ahead and learn how to do just that. All right, so let's go ahead and work on setting up these poses first, and then in the following lesson, we'll go ahead and tweak the, the shoulder some more and get that process started. All right, so again, this is going to be a few frames after. So let's say on frame 21, this is where we'll have our villainess get struck. So what I'll do is grab her center of gravity. I'll also grab her arm controls, the elbows, everything to translate her upper body. Now at this point, we can have her start moving back and over to the side. Now keep in mind also that she's going to start twisting here. We're going to animate a really neat looking twist, a very stylized one as she falls. So we're, we're preparing for that now. So she gets struck. She's starting to leave her feet at this point. Let's go ahead and take a look at things in, in multiple views so we're satisfied with our, our pose. Great. And now we can go to the center of gravity and start to rotate that back and start to to fix this pose so that you can start to have her twist. Okay, great. Might actually bring this up a bit more and then start to tweak the chest. So we want that to twist around and over. Beautiful. All right, now for her head, Again, that needs to follow through as well, so we need to have that twist around. Let's do the same thing for the neck, kind of just slide that and rotate it slightly. And then once we're satisfied with the upper body, we could start to work on the legs and then finish with the arms. All right, so here I'll grab the toe. Remember, we twisted it slightly, so let's make sure on frame 21 we use transform to zero to set it back because there should be no twisting from that control object. We should start to now move the main leg control since that leg is, is now off the floor. I'll go ahead and grab the ball control, this foot roll control here, and also use transform to zero to zero that out. Much better. And then we can start working on having the left leg drag. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to rotate that in a way that truly reflects the, the impact here that's just happened. See how we've rotated the torso, the upper torso. I'd like to here rotate the hips out a bit. just to make a more exaggerated looking pose and to loosen her up. And I think that the torso is rotated and twisted a bit too much. So I might start bringing that over some. That was way too exaggerated. So we need to avoid that. I'll go to her head control and start to fix this. Twisting that back around a little bit more. Okay, great. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the center of gravity. Maybe rotate her up a bit more so we can start to refine this pose further. 
Then I might go ahead and grab the chest and just kind of pull that over in the direction that she's falling in to loosen up the spine to get a more accurate looking pose. Beautiful. All right. So now it's time to start tweaking the arm. So remember, she's twisting around here. So let's go to her sword arm. And we'll have that actually brought closer into her. Let's go to the elbow. We'll need to bring that out to tweak that. All right, great. And now we could go ahead and start to bring that arm in. That looks nice. We could go ahead and rotate the, the sword down and over just to make sure we have some really nice looking follow through here. Great. Now for the right shoulder, I'll just go ahead and rotate that forward a bit. Just bringing it around. I'd say we're good to go here. The wrist, I like to fix that so it doesn't seem broken, so I'll just go ahead and start tweaking that so that is not the case. All right, beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and start to tweak the left arm to finish up this pose. So that is actually going to swing around the the opposite direction. So we'll pose it so it's slightly behind her over to her left side. Then we'll go ahead and drop the elbow. And we'll also want to extend the arm given the direction again she's flying in here need to make sure that the body starts to really extend and the arm follows through. And naturally, as it does, it should extend at this point. And then we could have the wrist kind of rotate back. And by the end of this, we want to really appear as if she's starting to, to twist as she falls. So we definitely have that. Great stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're satisfied with this pose. Awesome. All right, so this is really neat. Let's go ahead and take a look at the knees. Let's make sure they look good. I might grab the left knee and just bring that in a bit more. And the right knee, we can go ahead and bring out. It was too far in, so we need to make sure that that is brought out to a more, more natural-looking leg pose. All right, so we have now animated the villainess starting to fall. Notice I've added the key on frame 22. That may happen. We may go off frame at times, but we know how to fix that. Just simply grab all of her controls, key on that frame you're currently on, delete the key on the frame before, and then just go ahead and slide that key over. And we're good to go. Great. So by the next pose, the villainess would leave her feet. And that's going to happen around frame 23. So we can go ahead and start working on that now. And then after we're done adding more control to the shoulders in the following lesson, we'll move right back in and start to animate her, her fall and add this really neat spin as she does start to to come to her end. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go in and grab all of her upper body controls, everything that we need to select in order to translate her entire body. We'll also grab her leg controls and her knees. And let's now have her start moving back using our Move Space Manipulator. We need to keep in mind the, the impact so that she translates back far enough. 
We also need to make sure that she flies back in the right direction. So that looks good. It's pretty much going to be straight back from here, so we just want to, to check that. There might be a slight slant, but nothing too bad at all. All right, great. So at this point, we could also go to the center of gravity and kind of rotate that down a bit on frame 23. Excellent. All right, well, at this point, we'll go ahead and stop the lesson, and in the next lesson, we'll move right to the shoulders.